Oh yeah, he's, he's on metal. He's got nothing left, lad. He put him 35 shield again. Broke his shield again. He's got he's stuck in the zone because he's trash. Wow, that's really good building though, to be fair. He's gotta be dead to the zone, yeah. Where are my shots going, bro? This guy's pretty good as well, but it was the best fire. Wow! How's he missed that? No! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! 14 kills between the two of us? Did you get seven kills too? Yeah. Easy. Yo, can we use this scores for Fortnite Friday? <laughs> oh, someone's landing right on. Oh my god. Wait, they didn't see the combat. I hope you get that first. I did. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ay, Dios mio. That's tough. He missed completely. I have a uh, drum gun for you as well. I think there's people near us as well. Careful you don't get up. Yeah, I just was my. <laughs> That's so low. unlucky. I got down 10 health. I'm dead. Unfucking believable. That stupid ass goddamn shit. Okay, Nick, you're actually unmuted. Can I oh, thank you, dear God. Thank you, thank you, bro. Thank oh my God. You. Thank you for the unmute. Oh my goodness. I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I just like listen, uh, like, uh, you know, they, they just those TV shows where people lose weights and they're like at 400 pounds and at the end they're like at 180 and they're full muscular. It's like you right now, bro. So what's up? Uh, how are you doing? Fuck is he, dude? Him, yeah, where he went and picked up his body spot. Yeah, he did. Oh, I, play. <laughs> I think I broke my mouse, dude. I fat fingered my mouse, bro. I think I broke it. GG's. Other team needs to come in clutch for you here. GG's. GG's. Ah! U V two. They're pushing U V two. What do I do, dude? I got no HP. Kill them all. Kill them. Ah! I'm stuck. Yeah, yeah. Trap him in the zone. He's dead. Get that guy. He's dead. Ah. Oh. Oh. Good effort, dude. Good effort, man. That was tough. Presentation and analysis are miles ahead of some long-standing esports. I agree, Rennie, for sure. I would, I would debate to say, okay, and this is no shots against the the Fortnite community and those guys presenting it because they're fantastic as well. But I, I would even debate to say that. EA and FIFA's presentations, the commentary team, Payback. the angles, all of the that FIFA stuff, I would play. genuinely say is better or at least on par with Fortnite. To me. That that that's that's what I feel. I I I, I don't know. Am I biased because I love FUT? I don't know. But to me, this stuff, all of the way they have it covered, the professionalism of it all, the the, the player reactions, all of that stuff is is on par with Fortnite in my in my opinion. The gameplay is about 4000 times off in, in comparison to Fortnite and and the skill required in Fortnite versus lack of RNG versus the skill and major RNG and gameplay flaws in FIFA. We're not discussing that, but the overall presentation, bro, I I I I think FIFA might even take the cake. I think they do such a fucking good job, man. Counter-Strike has been in so eSport for 10 years and lacks the analysis I've seen at this event. Very minor mistakes, whether it be lack of time you know what? I, I would say maybe that's <coughs> one thing that Fortnite doesn't do well. They don't analyze the players, what they do, how they play, their movements, their building tactics, their defending tactics. They go into it a little bit, but they don't, they don't go into it enough, in my opinion. They don't know how Fortnite is a free-for-all. I don't think you're getting my point.
you can very much analyze what a Fortnite player is doing in certain battle situations. I don't care that there's 30 players in the map. They can focus in on something that Tifu does well and analyze it, or focus on how Tifu dies and analyze it. They can analyze it very, very well. I, I, I don't know if you maybe maybe I just didn't make my point, um, uh, d didn't bring my point across properly. Whereas with Mike and 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 the other anal analysis team and the, and the replays with FIFA and stuff like that, I love. Me, I'm very much a, a, a stats guy and an, an analysis guy, right? Which is why the little things in FIFA make me so fucking angry because I concentrate so much on that stuff, right? Um, so I love analyzing games and gameplay and stuff. And we're going to do a hell of a lot more of that for FIFA 20. On Mondays, we're going to analyze through every single one of my losses. We're going to go back and watch my losses uh, from the stream, number one. Number two, we're going to go and watch throughout the weeks the Champions channel and analyze what the best players are doing to try and learn um, and improve ourselves in that regard. So I'm, I'm very, very excited for it. And it just goes back to, yeah, I, I, I love seeing it in this pro event, being able to look at what players are doing right, what they're doing wrong. Um, it's absolutely, absolutely lovely. Six Manchester United and a Fulham FC player. And that is, of course, Dimi Berbatov, who was with Emma a little bit earlier. Yeah, plenty of big names here at the Dimitar Berbatov. Grand Final. And this Manchester shit's fucking Manchester awesome. Much bigger than Dimitar Berbatov, does it? What You've a guy. Around, so Talk about football out. analysis. This yeah. guy's a king. Yeah, first time here, and because I'm a fan of the game, I play at home as well. Uh, I try to see how these guys are doing it because obviously they're a lot better than me. What? So I enjoy it. So you don't don't think you could uh, give anyone a game here? Well, I can try, but I know I'm going to lose. <laughs> but at least I would like to get some tips, you know, how to become better. Because when I go home, I play, especially at night when I have more time. But sometimes I, I lose really bad. Now, I love Dimitar Berbatov, dude. Uh, the likes of MS Dasari, a, a massive favorite here. Who's your pick to win? Oh, to be honest, uh, as I say, first time here and uh, not too familiar, to be honest, with the, with the older players. But in the end, I'll be here tomorrow as well, watching the final. Maybe. And I know I'm going to be entertained because I'm watching it on the TV as well. So it's something for me that is of interest. And whoever wins it, uh, you Back know, time. it's going to be Love emotional for him because I see how, how much... I don't think he has any idea who the players are. To whoever is the final. <laughs> and no Bulgarians here this time around. Anyone to look out for for next year? Well, unfortunately, there's no Bulgarians here, yeah? <laughs> but for next year, maybe uh, a guy by the name of uh, Dr. Nightwatch can reach it to the final. And, of course, a guy by the name of Dimitar Berbatov, <laughs> I will try myself to do it. <laughs> well, wish you luck for that. I fucking love him, man. Go do yourself a favor and go watch his Instagram uh, analysis of his goals from the past. It's the greatest thing you will watch today if you haven't watched it before. So good, dude. He's so intelligent the way he talks, but he also makes fun of himself. He's amazing. He's the second leg of Rafsu versus Nicholas Let me see if I let me see if I can give you guys an example here. Hold on. Let me see if I can give you a quick example. Okay, got it. Okay, real quick, dudes. Let's see. This might not be one of his best, but we'll see. Yes, people. Some goals here against Chelsea. First one is a community shoot. As you can see, it's a good-looking goal, but I tell you why. When I see Nani and Gixi having two defenders on the back, I see the space behind them. Immediately, I knew I need to run there. The moment when I start running, Nani give me the ball, and now I sense the defender is chasing me. He's going to catch me. But at the same time, I'm seeing that the goalkeeper is rushing to meet me. So he made like easier for me. The mistake here is from the goalkeeper. If he stays on the goal, then it's going to be more difficult for me to score. But the moment he was already close to me, I knew I need to put the ball over him. But again, you need to know how much pressure to put on the ball because you don't want the ball to bounce and go out. All right? But the main thing, read the situation, anticipate the mistake and take advantage of it. Love him. So this one, there is a story behind this goal. So Ronaldo is about to take the free kick and we all knew he's going to shoot. He was shooting from everywhere. But my job was trying to anticipate where the ball is going to drop and maybe get a touch on it and score. So I'm in the box and Vida comes to me and he starts speaking Serbian. And yes, people, I can speak Serbian, you know, I'm clever like that. <laughs> <laughs> he so speaks like, like 10 languages, by the way. In English. I'm going to block your guy. You are going to run in front of him and you're going to score. And I'm like, okay, Vida, let's do that. The point I try to make is this. Always look for advantages in the game. Even if it means speak different language, so nobody understand what you're going to do. 
So Ronaldo took the free kick. I start running, as you can see now. Vida blocked the guy. And for me, it was just easy to get a touch on the ball. And bam, I score. And then Vida was chasing me and screaming, Berba, this is my goal. And I'm like, fuck off, Vida, it's my goal. But of course, it was a team effort and it was a good goal. <laughs> fuck off, it was my goal. <laughs> you see, he's so good, dude. So here it fuck is. off, it's my goal. Oh. Between referee blowing the whistle and you taking the penalty. That couple of seconds when you are alone against the world, when 80,000 people are watching and you are praying not to miss. <laughs> so what is going through your mind? This is the most important thing. It's not how you take the penalty. And of course, everybody can miss a pen. Don't worry about it. It's how you think before you take it. Don't let negativity creep into your mind. Don't try to sabotage yourself. Stick to your principles. Of course, you need to know when to change, when to adapt to a certain things. But most of the time, stick to the way you believe football should be played or the way you should take a penalty or the way you should live your life. And what a legend. Be all right. See what I mean, man? He's so good. So if you, if you if you if you don't check out his stuff on Insta, it's great. This one is the best one. The Armalika put this one. Armalika, you can put all of this stuff in the uh, in the highlights as well for today. But this one is so good, dude. Okay. I don't know why this video is in black and white. I'm not that fucking old, for fuck's sake. Second of all, you can see me around the left hand side of the middle circle giving instruction. Now. When the ball starts traveling to the right hand side of our attack, you see Pascal Shimbonda gets the ball. I'm not in the picture, but I know that he needs one or two touches to get the ball. And then he cross. And all of a sudden, boom, I'm there. You know why? Because it's all about timing sometimes, guys. Okay, timing and know your teammates. So I know Pascal is going to get one or two touches. I'm not worried then. Then he needs to pick up the head and see where everybody is. And then the cross comes. Okay, that's why I'm timing my movement. And then when the ball, the ball is traveling, I see Tom Huddleston in front of me. And by his movement of the body, I know that he, he was trying to get the ball with his head. But I'm like coming behind him at full speed. I'm like, Tom, leave it for fuck's sake. It's me, it's me. You know, so he left the ball and you see what happened. A goal. I don't Tom. know why this video is in black and white. I'm not that fucking old for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. He's like, he's got like the Ibra fucking banter in him. I love him so much, man. Why not the world champions? And just, just briefly, what will you be doing tonight to prepare for tomorrow? Sleep. Only sleep and just uh, try some uh, football manager and that's it. Ha <laughs> He just promoted football manager! Thank on EA's much. event? Wow! Good sleep, but let's hand over now to Mike LeBell what a fucking Mike legend! In the analysis area. Yo, what is this man's Twitter? Thanks, Adam. I can't get out! I can't see where the edit is! I legitimately... I couldn't edit myself out of the cone, dude. Of course I got him down to 19. Dog shit players still killed me. That's cool. Whoa! Oh. 
I just got his bandos and a campfire in here. Okay. That edit out, baby! <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay. I wanna eat my hot dog! I think I earned it. There's a guy like Bro, the right over by the house. Killed him, killed him. Yeah, the guy on the right was shooting me. Hey, Chrissy, stop my shotgun! <laughs> Let's go, Chrissy! Good shit, he's dude. Over here in the, he's over here in the cornfield now. Okay. <laughs> nice, Chrissy. I like you, dude. Good job, bro. This is psycho. Did you drop the mini ammo, Jesse? How, how, how do I half it? Uh, Z, I believe. Yeah, there, there. you go. And Nick, it's Zed. Shut your oh, whore hey. mouth! Hey, wanna, Nick, get in here with me, pal. Come okay, on. okay, I'm coming, 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 coming. Let's go, let's go. Wait, you... Oh my god. What did you get out for? Hey, you ah! don't it here. Why would you do that, dude? I wanted to ruin somebody else's experience. No mechs, dude! We're anti-mechs here. Dude, I like it oh, so much. Dude, well, I was really hoping this for Neff to go down there, but nothing happened. Oh, shoot! Dude, that's so stupid! <laughs> <laughs> yes, mech! Ah! I'm gonna get you, Neff. Don't worry. Chrissy! Yes! Oh, Jesus! What is that? Hey, your mini Chrissy. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. I'm not scared of you, Mac. There's two. What the fuck? I blew one up too. Should be the last one. I hit him, his shield's down. What? Nice! Oh. Did you didn't see anything! Good play.